beep. Beep, beep, ah, beep, beep. Beep, beep, ah, beep, beep. Beep, beep, ah. <coughs> oh, oh, hello, everyone. Welcome. I'm the Melee Gaming Guy. And have I got a treat for you. Today, we're going to be looking at a special car. A car that's a bit insane in the men brain oh you oh yes uh i decided to do another crazy car i thought i'd try and go a little bit more extreme and i just went a bit too extreme this car is very very tail happy let's put it that way but the tuning i've done is actually quite good and uh, it doesn't just spin out on you you can catch it you can play with it but you do have to be a little bit skillful but none of least it's uh, quite a fun car so i thought i'll share it with you all I'm going to take you over to automation, where we will take a look at the stats of the car and how I built it. And then we're going to take it for a little test drive in BeamNG. You'll see me later on in the video. But until then, enjoy automation. Tycoon Car Company Game. Tycoon Game Company. Something like that. Rawr. Rawr, rawr, rawr. Yeah, that's what this car would sound like if it could roar. Welcome to the jam. It's um a beast. This thing is a monster, as you will see later. I was trying to make another beautiful car that just handled really well and went down the track super fast. And I made a thing that just really wants to throw its bomb out, but it's catchable and um quite drivable and quite insanely fast. Well, it's we 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 it like. It will buy you in the ass 8 out of 10 times, but those other two times, you're like, sweet, that was awesome, I'm going to do that again. It's that car. It's that car to drive. Yeah. I think I did okay on the styling. I'm not done the inside yet. Um, you know, it's got a good mouth, good grills and stuff. It looks all proportionate. And um, I'm happy. I'm happy with the way it came out. I'm even happy with the city spoiler. They always don't look right to me. I think this one come out pretty cool and looks quite realistic. So let's get into the uh, stats and the statistics of this car. Do we need this thing yet? Ah, yeah, it'll pop up anyway. Carbon fiber. For the panel material, the chassis type is semi space frame. Look, we've done normal Shabam here. We've gone engine placement, longitude front. You know, it seems to be king when you're running rear wheel drive front engine cars. And double wishbone, double wishbone seem to be good start in places to go looks like quality is five on the bodywork in this one the engine is a one we've seen before the v6 uh, naturally aspirated three liter so let's have a quick dive into that it does have a dual overhead cams and the quality is five on all of this but it's still for the crank uh, lightweight titanium and lightweight forge for our cameras and pistons we do have some harmonic dampener but they have cranked right low and the reason we do that is so we have some good throttle response and we want some good throttle response in our cars compression is quite high as it is naturally aspirated and pushing out a lot of juice uh cam profile is set quite normal because i like a bit of throttle response at a lower end uh springs and lifters have to be pushed up a little bit there and there bvl is on this bad boy of an engine and um, beta i really shouldn't keep saying VTEC on these things. It's like an ongoing meme. VTEC on a V6. Did Honda make a V6 with a VTEC on it? I don't know. Educate me, people. Am I, am I, is this hurt my eyes for no reason? Is this okay to see? The clipping isn't. What's going on there? That clipping's a bit off. Anyway, we're getting 9,000 revs out of this engine. Like I said, naturally aspirated direct injection per cylinder race oh went a bit click then i didn't mean to click uh race intake manifold set to so and we'll go to the graphs um we've got a nice little graph pan here we did pretty well on our fuel and the horsepower is a pretty nice curve and our torque curve is pretty nice so a happy engine all in all if you're interested in exactly what body I chose in automation is this one a 2005 coupe the rb 10s valley b2500 coupe b p d that's a lot of b d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d
four six meter wheelbase front engines rear wheel drive and track width is 1.38 have i made it wider i don't think i did actually it might be the width it came with so uh, that's the thing to food for it might go even wider and we can even change it to one of these ones and have a different variety of this car if we ever decided to that one looks like a bmw it does drive like a bmw wow we've made a bmw but made it look like a jaguar wait a minute don't don't bmw own jaguar now <laughs> whoops what a coincidence what's going on with this clipping that's a bit annoying we'll ignore that you did not see that clipping uh next bit up body trim we've done that paint it's blue this blue here the blue it is it's blue um lights and detail we've already had a little chat about that should i do an interior do we put up the repository you guys let me know should i just do it do you think we should just flood the the repository for any old car or should we just do the special ones what should we do at least the finished ones we at least got to put the interior in before we send it on it way drivetrain is rear wheel drive manual six speed it can do 215 miles per hour wow uh track premium hyper and a track car and yellow and the others so uh we do have some clientele if we ever wanted to sell this in the game geared lsd okay okay uh wheels uh, quality 15 let's go on to wheels we always got to run in 19s on this one 205s in the front and 235s in the back normally i square these off and then just give it more you know back end stop it from oversteering so much and we get this sort of graph i've recently learned i don't want to stick my circles up here anymore i want to try and get them inside of this little triangle split so under the red and over the blue is where i want to be to put my circles from now on and um yeah having it like this is just crazy you're mad okay just just back end always out and we we're, it doesn't it's hard to catch and we like to try and control the cars and get some really decent tuning sports compound on the uh tiles radio of course and the rim material is magnesium go in theme that one we'll go stick to that until we hear other Carbon fiber, uh, carb yeah, carbon ceramic even. Carbon ceramic on the front and vented on the rears. Um, the size is just as they are to try and tune it to stop being, you know, as it is. It is as it is. That's that's what I say. Actually, it's braking distance is quite poor. I think like two seven, two six is not a good number to try and hit. And thirty, you know, it's quite bad. But uh, oh well. It does the trick. It makes it really burn. We got some downforce going. We got active wing. We got active wing active, and we also got a sports under tray. Oh, 160, 200, and what 30? Oh, we'll just do this little clip there. Add those two numbers up: five, eight, seven, seventy-eight, three, three hundred and seventy-eight kilograms of downforce at two hundred and something odd miles per hour. Is it two hundred and eleven miles per hour? Not bad, not bad. You know, you'd be averaging around here, which is about 200 kilograms. No, about 100 kilograms of downforce in your 100 miles an hour. In a 200 meter circuit, we're going to be circuit. I always say circuit, circle. We're doing 1.53 Gs. That's good. That's not a bad number. Anything from there to two is really good grip, I'd say, to be driving in. Uh, maybe that's why it doesn't always just kill us. Does that little bit of G-force manages to help catch us in. Sportiness 99, drivability is 94. Like I say, we can bring them down a bit and it'll still be a really fun car. Uh, do, 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 brake flow, nothing really too important there. We've got basic interior, basic. So we're obviously trying to keep it light when we built this car. This car was built last week before the update and before the things, but we're trying not to talk about that. Uh, electric available steering, traction age is on fully, but we do completely turn all this off even the aids in bmng when we have a drive later they are all turned off standard safety uh, no quality but we have bumped it up there that probably should be a minus not a plus hmm i wonder optimized weight of course and the weight distribution is set by doing the design and we've actually got 52 in the front probably needed that i'm not gonna lie 
Probably needed that little bit extra weight in the front. Let's get 109% and 95% here. Hmm. Yeah, we're doing alright over there. And all this is probably tuned by me clicking race by looks a bit and retuning the swayness and the sway bars. I tend to have quite stiff, quite loose in the front. It tends to get these two circles more in a straighter line. Sometimes, not always. Depends on the engine placement and all that. Hmm. So that's the automation. What are you guys thinking? So we're just taking a look at the stats side of this car. What are you thinking so far? I think it's almost time to change the engine up. We keep doing the same V6, but 430 brake horsepower seems a bit nice number to play with on the track. In fact, it might be almost the perfect number, maybe 10 miles an hour too fast. We'll soon maybe change that and do a little bit of tweaking to the engine, or maybe just change what sort of engine it is, but aim for the same sort of figures. And see if we get the same sort of feel from the throttle response and how the cars handle with the bait, balance, the weight distribution, all that sort of stuff. But anyway, I've had great fun building the car. Hopefully, you've had a great fun looking over the car. It's time now to take it for the time trial in the custom map that I built, which is UK themed. We're doing the mountain pass, top to bottom. I will make some more soon because we've got the bypass, which is practically finished. We can use that for some time trial testing for the high end speedy cars rather than the quick tight turny ones and then um, soon enough we will have a motorway to play on you know the old highways that goes around the whole 4k map that i've built and when that's done that should be pretty darn good with some traffic just bombing through that so uh stick around for that if you're not going to stick around for anything stick around for that because you will want to be playing this map it's going to be fun but it's taking its time i'm sorry it's been like three months into the making but um it's getting there i do still do things to it and make it a little bit beat better each time i have a look at it anyway we're gonna jump over now and watch this little short film of me bombing it down the road enjoy the music in the background i made it myself it's a little bit too chilled probably should turn it down a little bit i apologize but you can still hear the engine and the broom brooms quite nicely so uh, hopefully you can still get some pleasure out of it i'll see you at the end of beam and g's little time trial <laughs>
So that's the car. Uh, I want to know a little bit of feedback if you can. If you get this far, you know what do you like in the video format? Do you think I should be doing a bit more BMG chat, or are you enjoying like the little short films, the little detour of that one? Just trying to save time. So I know some people don't like the long videos. Some people don't like them too short. 20 minutes seems to be a nice margin to aim around there. Five minutes, give or take. Uh, or do you want to do some more B-rolls? I'm trying to add a bit more of that as I can. Um, any little advice to make this a little bit more juicy for you? Let me know. Apart from that, please like and subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you in the next episode of me making stupidly fast cars. Oh, I do, do, do. I like to make fast cars. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Share the love. And keep it real. Still the wrong order. Wrong order again. Ah. Punishment. Punishment. You will get it right for these people. Punishment. I'm joking. I'm not really hitting myself. I'm going to take that look. Anyway. Bye. This is cello tape. Cello tape. Okay, that's been English Lessons with Rob. Volume 1. I'll see you in Volume 2. Go on. Is that good, Larry? Yeah. Right, so we'll get on with the next video.